all right in this video let's uh, take care of the put request so let me go back to the code and uh, you see we don't have to do anything to this url because this url will handle the get request put request and delete request all at once okay i'll sh i'll show you how see this is our view and here we have this if request dot method equal to get right so what we need to do is we need to say elif request dot method oh i'm sorry method is equal to put and serializer is equal to this time what we need to do is we need to actually update the data right update the data that means we need to accept the new incoming data right so i'll show you how to do that student serializer and uh, here if you notice this one in the post request we are accepting the incoming data here right data is equal to request dot data request dot data means the whatever the data we are sending request that is the incoming data okay so in here also since we want to store the data we need to accept this incoming data but with this we also need to pre-populate the data right we also need to tell this serializer that this is an update operation okay so that's why we need to pass the current student that we want to update okay so if you pass this one this will create the new data but if you pass the student with this this will update this particular student okay so that's how you update the existing data all right now let's say if serializer dot is valid because this is again the same thing you see once we accept the incoming uh, incoming data then we check if the data is valid or not if it is valid then we save it otherwise we throw a, a bad request error okay it is very simple serializer dot save and if it is not valid right in the else case what we need to do we need to simply uh you know what we cannot do like this we need to return the response right we need to return the response after saving the serializer we should say return response serializer dot data comma status is equal to status dot this time when we were creating the new data we were actually returning this http 201 created but for the update operation we usually say http 200 okay the same thing what we are doing for the get request okay http 200 okay so this is for the put request or the update operation all right so let's handle the else case so if the data is invalid then we can simply return this one bad request copy this and just scroll down and paste it here all right return response serializer dot errors status equal to status dot bad request all right save it last thing we need to accept the put method as well for this view right so that's why we put a comma and say put simple all right now let's uh, refresh this see we are in the student for slash two okay now let's uh, try to update the student two okay so you got the form just like how we got for creating the data right so this is a uh, same form now let's uh, copy this one and uh, let's uh, maybe what we can change is branch i'll remove this branch electronics and communication it will be electronics the updated one let's click on this update uh, you know put we have updated this uh, id 2 right so if you fetch all the data now and you can see electronics is remaining okay because this object is updated all right so yeah that's about updating the data and uh, in the next video i'll show you how we can delete the data okay thank you